Welcome back to the Now Morning Show. Now this morning we're going to be talking plans for Point Fortin because they are going to be celebrating their 43rd anniversary as a borough. And of course what that means is that Borough Day is fast approaching. And so joining me this morning is Her Worship, the Mayor, Alderman Salima Thomas, to tell us more about this, who is the Mayor of Point Fortin. Good morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? Wonderful. Yes. Yes. Uh, excitement yet? I mean, how has preparations been thus far? I know it started already. It was launched a few weeks ago, was it? Yes. Uh, yeah. So we are actually two weeks, uh, two weeks into, into a month-long anniversary celebrations. Yes. Uh, so the adrenaline, it is there. Mm -hmm. And it has been there from since uh, a couple months ago. Yes. Persons have been eagerly and anxiously awaiting the commemoration of our 43rd anniversary. Yeah. Now, I know that you mentioned some new activities on the program, but before we get to the new one, tell us about some of the mainstays that we see over the years. All right. Uh, so actually this week, uh, the military parade, right. which is one of the key events in our calendar, that is what not only the people of Point Fortin look forward to, but the entire Trinidad and Tobago look forward to it because it's one of the second biggest military parade after Independence Day. So that is one of those events. And uh, we would have just come out of our week of youth events. Uh, that is relatively new on the calendar and also the youth of the sporting events. So we actually smack them in the middle <laughs> and hype of everything. Yeah. Yes. I know one of the things as well is that uh, the legacy, is it the legacy charitable all-inclusive yes. event in the mayor's honor? Tell us about that as yes. well. So this Sunday, the 30th of April, because that is the actual birthday of a point four ten. That is when we turn 43. And on that day, the council saw the need for us to do something for the people. And that day will be the charitable, all-inclusive event. Well, persons are accustomed to being the mayor's ball. Yes, the mayor's ball. Now, with this 38-year-old mayor, <laughs> very young <laughs> and hip, may I say, <laughs> we have decided to just twist and turn things around, uh, make it a little more inclusive yes. so that uh, you know, all walks of life could come and participate. This charitable event will go back to the proceeds, will go back to our charitable organizations in Point Fortin, and also to help enhance and further develop our community into the preferred place to live, work, invest, and recreate. Very nice. Now, I also see that you, is it that the corporation has partnered with PTSC for a busted service? Yes. Well, over the years, PTSC continued to maintain that collaborative relationship with the corporation. And this year, we are happy that they're back on board with us and coming out of a very successful meeting with the general manager and the marketing team a few days ago. Yes, they have agreed to do this bus ride. 2.14 to allow the entire Trinidad and Tobago to come down to point four ten nice. and enjoy the second biggest festival. Of course. Trinidad, yes. And let's talk about the one that everybody loves to go to, the yes. Juve party, the celebration. I mean, uh, our plans on track to have that one as well. Yes, indeed. So where we already have over 25 registered bands from all over Trinidad and Tobago, that Juve Celebrations begins at 4 a.m. in Point Fortin. And what day is this, Mayor? This is on the 6th of May. 6th of May. Saturday, the 6th of May. Right. And after which, we will have a parade of the bands, some traditional mass from about 11 a.m. And then into the evening, our pan on the move. For, yes. And let's talk about the new events. I, I, I saw some new events on the calendar. Yes. So that will be the reenactment, the Canbule, the reenactment. Now, we know this is a carnival type event. However, for the sake of the people in the southwestern peninsula, we saw the need to bring it on to our cultural calendar of our, to celebrate our anniversary. So this year, it will be a first for us in Point Fortin, and we are eagerly awaiting. Yeah. Now, Mayor, while the borough is turning 43, you are, as you mentioned, a young mayor. Yes. I mean, how important is it to sort of keep that youthful um, sort of, of, of aura around the festival to more bring people from outside to see exactly what Point Fortin has to offer? Yes. So I would have mentioned earlier on our week of youth activities. It is a first as well for us because over the years we would have celebrated just two days where we would have done a debate and a monologue. But I 
it's so the need of incorporating our youth a little more. And that way we brought on the junior panorama, the junior Calypso competition, because as you know, and I'm not sure if you know, that Point Fortin is the cultural capital of Trinidad and Tobago. We would have birthed so many, you know, icons in the Calypso and Soka industry. And I saw the need of continuing that, bringing our youth to the forefront, putting them on the stage, giving them that ability now to display their artistic abilities so that for future growth in the arena and the same for the pan, the junior panorama. And, uh, you know, being a youthful council, because it's not just a youthful mayor, right. but there is a collective combination of youthful council members. They all came with, you know, a wealth of uh, youthful and creative ideas so that many of the programs and initiatives that we do, not only in the calendar of events, it all has to do with the involvement of young people. So we see, we see a, a very positive future for Point Fortin, especially for the young people who are our future. Now I know that there are some mayors who are going to argue that they have the most culture, but we'll leave that for another <laughs> time. <laughs> Mayor, I, I have to ask though, so we have um, Point Fortin, the celebrations is on now, of course, the big day that everybody is looking forward to, but that day has been marred by a lot of crime and violence in the past. Um, we are seeing what's happening, you know, not just in different communities, but across society as a whole, mm -hmm. where we're seeing more robberies, more, more murders, that sort of thing. What is the borough doing to ensure that, you know, people who come from far, because, you know, people come to Point Point mm -hmm. Fortin as well to celebrate. How can you ensure that party goers, patrons are safe? Right, and I'm happy that you brought that question up uh, because uh, for more than four weeks now, we have been meeting, and actually on Wednesday, I'll be having my fourth or fifth security meeting where we would have invited all the security agencies under the Ministry of National Security, and we are putting measures in place, which I will not want to just, you know, for the sake of, you know, the persons who may have uh, that uh, intention of wanting to come to this room. It, uh, but uh, there will be measures being implemented to ensure that the safety of our um, patrons and visitors and burgesses that they they are safe and they feel secured. Over the years, uh, and yes, uh, we would have seen some slight uh, increase uh, in um, criminal activities, but for Bowdy, for something or the other, we do not have a high scale of. Um, you know, criminal activities on the actual day, which is the Saturday, because there is this increased patrol, you know, of officers and agencies in the actual celebrations to ensure that everything runs smoothly. So this year, I expect the strength to be three times the amount so that our people could feel safe. I don't want you to feel intimidated, but there will be there they will be there in their numbers just for our safety to ensure that we enjoy our celebrations, yeah. yeah. And moving off of that as well, Mayor, I know that uh, because we're having this grand celebration, people may also be wondering, you know, well, how can we focus on addressing the crime scourge in the country? Um, is there, are there any activities like, let's say, a prayer service or something happening in uh, the calendar of events that maybe can address that prayerful sort of togetherness that we've yes. seen in the past? Yes, indeed. Yeah. So on Monday, next, on, not this Monday, not today, but next week, Monday, we'll be having our gospel concert. Mm -hmm. That is one of our biggest, biggest events on our calendar. If, if you only know, you will want to attend other events, but the gospel concert, which we host in the Point Central itself, Victor Trinket Park, uh, it's not just the religious institutions in Point Fortin only, but we have gone out to invite in all, you know, our local gospel artists to come to Point Fortin, and it has only grew and grew over the years. I expect it to be even bigger and better this year. And Point Fortin is known to be a very prayerful community, very religious community, so yes, we are grounded. Yes. And Mayor, before you go, if we need to get any more information about the celebrations, uh, what we can expect, of course, as the celebrations continue, any website numbers, social media handles you can share? Yes, so you can go to the mayor's uh, point, her worship, the mayor, Alderman Salima Thomas, Facebook page, the Point Fortin Borough Corporation's Facebook 
page and website. You can also contact, and I'll give you the number that is to the top of my head, because <laughs> there's numerous numbers, 722 mm -hmm. if you need more information, and then we could always redirect you to the various heads or team leads for the various events that you're interested in. It, yes. Yeah, always a pleasure to have you. All the best with Point so Fortin Borody. Um, and of course, we look forward to see what else is coming out of Point Fortin, as you mentioned, that community and entertainment hub. So we look forward to future things as well. Thank you so much for <laughs> having me, as usual. And we want to tell the whole of Trinidad and Tobago, come one, come all. You come to Point Fortin, come celebrate with us, and we can assure you that you're going to have an enjoyable time and it will be very safe. Thank you, yes. Mayor. Yes. <laughs> and of course, that was Her Worship, the Mayor Alderman Salima Thomas, the Mayor of Point Fortin, just telling us about the Point Fortin Borough Day. They will be celebrating their 43rd year as a borough, and you don't want to miss it. You're on the Now Morning Show. We're going to take a break and be right back. Stay with us. Oh,